Coming up on Around Kern County, there's a special resource available to families all summer long. We're sharing details on lunch at the library and how you can get involved. And good news for local travelers. What you need to know about the new flight coming to Meadowsfield Airport when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. The Kern County Sheriff's Office has added some new equipment to their canine unit thanks to a donation from Spike's Canine Fund. This nonprofit helped KCSO acquire five new custom fitted canine protective vests to protect their working dogs serving in the line of duty. Having the proper equipment is imperative for these pups who put their lives on the line every day to serve our community. Within the last year, two police canines in Kern County were shot by suspects, as well as many other police dogs across the nation. This alarming trend led KCSO to update their canine equipment to ensure the safety of these valuable members of their workforce. Again, a huge thank you to Spike's Canine Fund for donating this needed equipment to protect our KCSO canines. We're sharing some good news for local flyers. Mainline American Airlines flights to Dallas-Fort Worth are coming to Meadowsfield Airport with service beginning October 6. Right now, travelers can get to Dallas from BFL on American Eagle. But we're proud of this expansion in service because it shows our airport is growing. American's mainline flights will be on a larger aircraft that will include first-class seating with added amenities as well as 50 additional seats for passengers. Currently, BFL flies non-stop to DFW, Denver, Phoenix, and San Francisco. You can book your mainline flights to Dallas right now by visiting meadowsfield.com, your gateway to boundless travel. If you're looking to start a business in Kern County, there's a new resource available to help you get the job done. Just check out our website, kerncounty.com, and click on the green circle on our homepage titled Business. This platform is designed to help local businesses and aspiring entrepreneurs, which is part of our county's strategic plan to develop and grow a thriving and resilient regional economy. It's important we provide a supportive ecosystem for business, which is why we've compiled all business requirements and resources on this handy site to streamline the path to entrepreneurship in our community. Again, just search kerncounty.com and click on the green circle titled business to access local incentive initiatives, permits, and other resources. There's an exciting program being offered right now at the Kern County Library that families in our community can access all summer long. Lunch at the library provides children zero to 18 years old with a free meal each day, along with interactive learning, such as story time, crafts, and performances. This week, we got a chance to attend this program and I was even able to read to some toddlers. This resource helps bridge the gap during these summer months while kids are out of school, helping put warm food in their bellies as well as continuing their education. So Lunch at the Library is a really cool program because it's available for all kids at any of our library locations that are offering it. And the really cool thing is that it's a wonderful way to get families who maybe lose access to meals during the summer when schools shut down, but it's also a great way for families to kind of come together and enjoy the library kind of for a full day outing. And we have one of the more robust programs in the state for Lunch at the Library. We offer it at 16 locations. We always encourage there to be some sort of engagement opportunity so that families aren't just eating and leaving. We want you to learn, engage, have some fun, and to be entertained. And the entire point is that it's completely free. There is no sign on, there's no cost. We want families to have these engagement opportunities. For more information on how to access this free resource, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. And we're ending today with a way you can make our community a better place. Kern County Public Works is rolling out its new three-cart system for taking out the trash. 
This is in compliance with Estate Bill 1383, which requires the composting of food waste. Take a look. This is Chuck. Chuck is using Kern County's new three cart system to take out his trash. He's putting organics like food scraps and lawn clippings in his green bin. He's tossing recyclables like newspaper and aluminum cans in his blue bin and separating trash for the landfill into his black bin. Let's work together to be like Chuck and keep Kern County clean for years to come because it isn't a waste making our community a better place. For more information, visit kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.